Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, as you read by the title, I will be attempting to cook sushi and snickerdoodles. I'm gonna hop right into this video because I have my rice boiling already, so I hope it doesn't take as long as I think it is. Since my rice is boiling and we need that for the sushi, I'm gonna start on the snickerdoodles. So I have the ingredients right here. I just don't know. Like, I'm just not really good at cooking at all. So I'm scared, I'm frightened, but I have a bunch of bowls. Oh my gosh, I don't have anything to mix with. A whisk, spoon, and a fork. First thing they want me to do is put two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt in a mixture together. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna get my two and a half cups of flour. That's one half. Now I need two teaspoons of baking powder. So as I've stated before, I am not good at cooking whatsoever. I'd rather not do it. It just doesn't seem like something I would master at anyways. The only things I know how to make is eggs, literally. Okay, I know how to make more things. I'm exaggerating. And now I need a half a tablespoon of salt. Tablespoon? Teaspoon? Did I say teaspoon? Are you guys laughing at me right now? Did I say teaspoon? Two teaspoons? Half a teaspoon? Two teaspoons? <laughs> oh man, oh man. Wait, I'm so confused. It says cream together the butter and one and a half cups of sugar until pale yellow. About two to three minutes. Should I melt it? Will that do anything different? This is a lot of sugar. Are they sure? A half a cup of sugar. Okay, I'm not gonna add any more sugar. I don't, it's looking like a pale yellow now. It has a lot of sugar in it though. My workstation is a mess. One thing I know they tell you to make sure you clean up after yourself as you're working. I have yet to do that. So I went to the store, not for this actually. And I just realized I wanted to cook. And knowing me, I don't know why I even said that. Like I've said a million times in this video, I don't know how to cook. I struggle in that area so it was a shock to my mother shock to me shock to people around me i would love to learn how to cook i never know what i want to cook but this time i actually looked something up on pinterest and i was like easy things to bake i told me to add eggs but i feel like this why is it looking like that what's the next thing okay Okay, add flour mixture one cup at a time until the dough becomes together. I want to pour this in this big bowl at a half a cup of the flour mixture at a time. <gasps> Wait, guys, stop. I think I did it right. Actually, oh! I'm sorry if I'm not talking as much. I'm just very focused and I don't want to sound like I'm going to force conversation. So I would rather not talk than ask you guys about the word, like you can respond back to me. Like, I just wanna know why is it not coming together? I just need to add more flour. I'm about to pour this whole thing in here. In a separate bowl, combine a half a cup of sugar and cinnamon together. Half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. Let me get some flour on my hands so it doesn't stick. I'm gonna get a bowl. Dip it into the cinnamon sugar. and I'm just gonna place it on my baking sheet. In the beginning, it was a disaster. I didn't know what I was doing at all. I still kind of don't know what I'm doing. And I'm actually scared because we have to make sushi. And if I just can't make cookies, what do I look like making sushi? I'm just going to fast forward into this. I'll show you guys what I have on my pan. You can't really see me, but the cookies are ready to be placed in the oven. I really hope they turn out well. I'm just gonna place these in the oven for 10 minutes and then we're gonna start on our sushi. So I have my rice and I have all the ingredients that I need to make the sushi happen. I wanna make California rice. Oh, and I have my seaweed. I'm going to place my seaweed. So I have my seaweed and I'm going to place it flat. You couldn't find any like 
those like bamboo uh, rolling mats. I'm going to start cutting my vegetables. Since I'm making California roll, I'm going to be using cucumber, avocado, and crab legs. Cut up the cucumbers and kind of slice them. I'm really scared I'm going to cut my finger. It's a little story time. One day in the kitchen, I was trying to make avocado and eggs and my avocado was just a little bit too ripe and I end up literally cutting a chunk of my finger in half. Paramedic that came, she was like really rude. I'm sorry to say that, but it's true. If I could give her a rating, I would give her two stars. She really tried it. She really tried me, y'all. Knowing that I have to cut an avocado kind of scares me because of trauma. Yeah, I went through. Should cut them tinier. So you know how Hamilton has just came on Disney Plus? I never knew what Hamilton was. I didn't know what the plot was about. None of that. But a good friend of mine, she is a big fan of Hamilton. And I knew that. So when it came out, I was like, maybe I'll give it a go. Because if she likes it, maybe I might like this. I watch it. And honey, I fell in love. It gives me some type of joy to watch it. I've watched it about eight times. The three times that I watched it were in a day. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, one at night. This is so good. Like, it's, if you don't know what Hamilton is, I really suggest you go watch it. Like, it is so good. So glad they incorporated like, black culture in it too with the rapping. They really did that and I'm so proud. But I just found out that it was supposed to come out in 2021 in theaters. And I'm like, imagine me not knowing about Hamilton until 2021. I got it. uncooked cookies for the me. rice not being on the roll for it's me. her thinking she can cook for it's me. the play-doh for it's me. the cinnamon sugar for it's me it's the sesame seeds looking like black it's for most me. definitely the montage for me yeah, 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 yeah. so i have my ginger my cookie and my sushi so the first thing we're gonna try is my sushi it's actually not that bad the only bad thing is it falls apart i couldn't roll it i give the sushi a 8 out of 10 is not bad. It's just the way it was presented. Now for the snickerdoodle. <laughs> They're so puffy because nobody told me to flatten them. I guess it's common sense, but I like that. Yeah, it's very salty. Um, I get that like a, a 4 out of 10. It's salty, it's burnt. So I don't know who's gonna eat all of these nine cookies, but it's not gonna be me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can get notified for every time I post. I try to post on Saturdays, but if I can't, I try to make the next video even better. I proved you guys right. I cannot cook at all. I can't even make simple cookies. Sushi is a skill that has to be developed in a person, which is not me. So I'm going to stop there. I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to do something a little different. So if you guys want to see more of this, make sure you subscribe. I love you guys. Peace out, Girl Scout.